I'm going to show you how to make a twisted gift card holder. They look like they're really complicated, but they're not. So I'm going to show you how simple it is. This was shared with my um, team by my downline, Doris Fryman. Thanks, Doris. We've got a piece of So Saffron cardstock that is four and a quarter by 11. And the Sunshine and Sprinkles Designer Series paper, isn't this just adorable? That's in the new spring mini catalog. And that piece is four by 10 and three quarters. So what you're going to do um, is you're going to put your cardstock in your paper cutter and we need to score the cardstock. So you're going to line up the tip of your bottom left hand cardstock with the top of your right, top right cord, cardstock corner. And then you're going to score and don't use the cutting blade like I did before because this is my second take on this video. <laughs> okay, here's our scoring blade. The new paper trimmer is really nice because the scoring blade, you can push on it hard, you can run it back several times, back and forth, and it does not cut your paper. Okay, so once we've done that, we are going to make sure we have a really nice fold with a bone folder. So give it a good crease. And it's very important that you get from tip to tip on this. Now, once you have that done, you're going to fold it like this and put it right back in your paper cutter or scorer. And you're going to make sure that where it intersects here is where you're going to score it next. Okay, and you can push back and forth several times on this because we're going through two layers of cardstock, which as you well know, is pretty darn thick. Once we have that done, you're going to fold it over and give it a good crease. Now you might have to force it a little bit. You can see here it's kind of sticking up a little bit. Force it back down because this is a lot of thicknesses to be folding at once. So there we go. Now if you do it backwards like I did in my first take, your card is not going to have the little pocket here. Your card is going to open this way which is kind of backwards but it happens. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we need to move on to our designer paper. In our designer paper, you're going to cut the same way that we scored. So we're going to cut this piece from tip to tip, and again, bring it just like this and flip it over. That's also very, very important line it up so that this tip and this tip meet just like this okay and we're going to put it back in our paper cutter and push it up against our base that makes sure we're cutting straight and I'm gonna just kind of put this one in there first just to make sure that I've got the whole thing up against it okay and then we're going to actually cut where our paper intersects here and I think I need to pull it over just a little bit more. And again, this part is very important. Okay, so we've cut through both of them. Now, for our twisted easel card, you're going to take one piece that's going to go in here, one piece is going to go in here, and then these little pieces oops, go right here. How fun is that? And ooh, I was really lucky because my my little um, whales would be upside down if they were on this page. So play around with your cardstock if you have um, definite patterns. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these. And I love using my liquid glue gives me some, moon, some room to move sometimes and I can get it into those little little corners without having a lot of problems with um, overrun of a tape runner. Okay, here we go. Next we're going to do this one. It's really fun to play around with different patterns. I love our double-sided paper. And 
our last piece. Sometimes you might need to trim a little bit off this edge to make it fit in there properly. Don't let it frustrate you. Just pull it out and clip it off. Nobody's going to see that anyways. I'm just going to open this up. Okay. There we go. And then what I did is I took my one and three quarters inch circle punch and I punched out a whale from my designer paper and put it on a two and three eighths inch marina mist um, scallop. And then I'm going to, I made a little banner for it too. I wanted to show you this. This is the Hello Baby and that is from, um, oh, what is that stamp set? That match, oh, itty bitty. Itty bitty somethings. I'll think of it. I'll, I'll type it up when I get done with the video. So I've got a little banner here and I want to make this look like it's flowing. So I'm going to take my paper cutter and just pull it through like your curling ribbon. And then I'm going to do this to the other end. You've seen me do this before. Do it right here too. Because what I want to do is attach that to the back of my little whale element and that's going to kind of run out right here. So I'm going to use a little bit of glue and we're going to kind of attach that. Notice that I'm kind of giving it a dry fit here before I actually put everything together. I want to make sure that it's in place where it needs to be. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. Oops, I gotta get those off of there. Sometimes those can be little buggers. If you stick your fingernail in them, it kind of curls up the edge so they're easier. And now I'm gonna put my little whale on here. Okay. And then the other little fun element that I thought of for this card is to use the new silver soda pop tops. You get 16 pieces, so eight of the big ones and eight of the little ones. So I'm going to use a little one here. And these um, pop tops are standing up just like they would be if they were actually on a soda bottle. And what you can do with them is put them through your big shot. Now I've got one tab here and two cutting plates and I'm just gonna set my little soda top right in there, put my plate on top and run it through my big shot. And that's gonna smash it down and give it a really neat look. Here we go. And now it's kind of flattened out. The edges have curled over. It's a neat little element to add to my card. And what couldn't go better with that than our half inch circle punch. You're gonna punch out whatever you'd like in there. And I just used a piece of the other designer paper in the Sprinkles and Sunshine set and got a little blue whale for my card. So I'm going to adhere that into my soda top and then I'm going to take a dimensional and put that on the back. This is a little concave on the back so dimensionals work really good on here. And then I'm just going to put this on as a little element on the front of my card. Hmm, let's see, do we want to do it here or here? How about right there? Cute, love it. And this is where you would insert your gift card. Or you could cut a piece of white cardstock and write a message in here. Or we could stamp congratulations right on this paper with some darker ink. That would work just fine. But there you go. I'm going to open this up for you so you can see. Oh, my dimensional stuck on that side, but this is what the card looks like. How fun! So watch for other twisted gift card holders on my blog because I'll be sharing a Valentine one also. And um, I'll also share the instruction sheet so you can print that out and see exactly how to do this. Doris shared that with me and I asked her if I could use it. So go to my blog if you need to place an order or if you'd like to see other great projects that I've um, made. And thanks for stamping with me.